Hello there, welcome to Ton TV, the Green at Morton weekly update, as sponsored by the Tears, the Auctioneers. In this week's show, we'll be looking back at the game against Dundee last weekend, looking ahead to the vital fixtures against Air United and Inverness Caledonian Thistle. We'll be revealing January's goal of the month winner and giving you the chance to win a signed jersey in February's competition. Before all that though, my special guest this week has been enjoying a run of games in the first team, and he is Luca Colvo. So look, at, that's true, isn't it? You have had uh, a run in the team uh, yeah. this last wee while. Uh, but not so much featured early part of the season. No. Um, obviously, start of the season, uh, didn't go how I wanted to. Obviously, I wanted to uh, play more games, but that's just football. Um, at times, you can't play every game. Um, but I just made sure I got my head down, worked hard, um, and that was it. I finally got my chance later in the season, and now, obviously, I'm getting a run of games. And, um, I just want to keep performing really, um, obviously we haven't had some of the results we wanted, we obviously we know we should have won some, um, but I think we're going in the right direction and uh, that's all that matters really. Yeah. Are you happy to play in any position? Uh, yeah, I've, I'm happy to play in any position to be fair. Uh, when I was a kid I played absolutely everywhere to be honest, I played left back, centre back, I played up front, um, the only position I played is goalkeeper. but. Um, <laughs> But yeah, uh, I'm happy to play anyway as long as I'm on the pitch really, um, but yeah. Let's look back then uh, to the Dundee game. Yeah. Uh, first of all, one of the things that we recall from commentary was you came quite close at one point, uh, cutting in and taking a shot. Yeah, I think that was when Nizzy cut inside and then found a gap, slipped me. Um, and I took the shot quite early and maybe I had a bit more time than I thought, but obviously just made the decision to shoot. Um, but yeah, that, that's what I need to, Involving my game more, um, being more on the front foot, um, getting more in attacking positions, and um, trying to score more goals. Because in the day, that's what I want to do, and that's going to help the team. We spoke to Guff last week, did you yeah. know? And he said that he was really benefiting from the fact, like yourself, that he's getting a run in the team. Yeah. And he scored last week a contender for not just goal of the month, but potentially goal of the season as yeah, well. Yeah, I think Guff's uh, got his own competition at the minute. Um, I think he's been brilliant since he's come to the team. Um, it's funny you mention that because I remember a few months ago, obviously, Guff wasn't playing, um, and I said to him, football can change in like a heartbeat, and that's exactly what's happened with him. He's like, uh, now he's playing every week, and he's doing really well, and that's what he needed, a run of games, and we, we've seen how good Guff is in training, um, and now he's putting it on the pitch on a Saturday, um, and he's, he's been magnificent, so but great to him, his goals have been unreal like that. It's that one, that last goal was just wow. I, I was out. You should, if you see the celebration, I was in shock. So wow, well, <laughs> well, because it was shock. so good. It, I, it, I was in shock because I, I just couldn't believe he took it first time. It's just how strappy headed it down. He's just wellied it across, but he seemed to have got that across the keeper on lock. But yeah, that, that's a striker playing with confidence. Yeah, yeah, you know, definitely. Try these things. Now. Definitely. Um, that's all Guff needed. Maybe of just a, a bit of confidence. Obviously. Um, he scored earlier on in the season against Dunfermline. It was a good goal, similar similar to the one at Hearts. And now he scored them goals. I think it's given him that self belief to go on and um, just have some good games. And that's what he's done, really. Um, he doesn't seem to score mediocre goals, does he? No, he, he don't. He don't do simple goals. Guff, to be fair to him, um, <laughs> everything's uh, as difficult as possible. But that's that's Guff, and he's he's got that in his locker, and he's a he's a great player. Yeah. Well, we're looking good at one 0 um, certainly, I thought we were in command of the situation, but it's yeah. a perilous thing. And then, of course, they break away and score the goal. Yeah, um, obviously, I think first half we felt uh, very comfortable. Um, and I think uh, we moved the ball around stuff. But I think, obviously, it was just a uh, second of switching off. Obviously, we let the runner go. Um, it was just one flip behind, and that was it. They was in, and that changed the state of the game. Um, we just had to regroup and uh, try to get the second goal, which luckily we did. Um, I wouldn't say we were playing well at the time, but we found a way and we got a goal, and that's when we need to hold on. Um, but yeah, that's, that's football. You say we got a goal. Modesty yeah. forbids. Look, it was a great goal. So Guff <laughs> goes a, from scoring to, to assisting. Yeah, and look, a Colville scores with a header. I know, I know. Do you know what? I've scored a few headers now. Um, it's, become, it's become a thing, but. Uh, I spoke to Guff after the game, I was like, did you even see me? And he said, uh, well, he he hesitated a bit, and I was like, yeah, you definitely didn't see me. But he put the ball into a great area, um, and luckily I just ran onto it, and 
just leaped above the player and headed it towards the ground and it bounced over the keeper. So no, it was a good it was a good goal. I didn't really think I didn't really think about it at the time. I didn't know how but obviously when I watched it on video it was quite a good goal, but yeah. Was that your actual technique to get the ball down into the ground? I think the... it was the player came a bit underneath me, so it sort of went towards the ground. I didn't mean to get it on obviously on the ground, um, but yeah, that just happened. But we're kinda of hoping it was a winner, of course, but yeah, another sucker that punch been nice, yeah. at the end. With yeah, obviously, um, we didn't hold on. Um, we were just switched off uh, on the shot free kick. Um, but yeah, we can't dwell on that now. We just got to focus on the next game, and the next well, the next two games uh, coming up recently, and um, just go from there really and get some wins. Yeah, it's no secret. I spoke to Anton after yeah. the match, immediately after the match, and uh, the boys in the press this week have been talking about. There was, shall we say. A robust exchange of views yeah. at, at full time yeah. about you know dropping a couple of points and maybe not getting yeah. the three points out of the game. But Anton said to me that that's a good thing. Uh, I'd imagine you've been around dressing rooms. Yeah. You know what it's like at the full time, and when, when players are like that, it shows a passion. Yeah, definitely. I think I'd be more worried if people weren't doing that. Um, shows people care. People just want to win, and, and they want what's best for the club. Um, and that's going to happen when you don't feel like. I think recently we've, we've had a, a, a string of results where we didn't get what we deserved. Um, so I think that game maybe was a build up and it was like, no, we can't have this anymore. We want to, we really need to change some in terms of me to score more goals or just concentrate on defending. Um, and that can happen in the change rooms and that's what you need at times. Um, and hopefully it's for the better now and we can just move forward and get some wins. Yeah. Well, let's move forward then. Let's talk. There's, there's two big games coming up. Yeah. Um, first, obviously, Air United at home. Yeah. Bit of a cracker the last time we played them in October, but I don't imagine you'd want to go to the last eight minutes being two goals down. No, it? obviously, it was a bit of a crazy game last time. Um, obviously, he strapped his header um, with the bandage on his head, I remember that. Yeah. Uh, you, can't, you can't forget that. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully, well, if we get the win, it can go like that again, but um, obviously, hopefully, we'll be a bit more comfortable. Um, but like we said, we just, we just need to get the win and that's the main thing get three points and then on to the next one early there was a confidence about the boys wasn't there I mean, yeah very very confident about yeah this definitely I think Anton instills that in us um, obviously we have a poor like a poor result we can't dwell on that because the next game's around the corner and you can be a hero one week and next the next you might not be so it's like you've got to keep confident and uh, believe in yourselves and believe in your teammates because that's what ultimately will get us a result yeah after that it's Tuesday and it's the trip up to Inverness. Yeah. Um, I mean, the logistics of getting up there and playing a game of football can, can be difficult as well. But yeah. again, we pushed them pretty close the last time we were up there. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's, a, it's a good pitch to play on. Um, and obviously we know they're a good team. Um, but like I've said again, I think I think we're playing some good football at times and that pitch will suit us with some of the players we've got. Um, so I think when we go there, we've just got to be confident in ourselves and I'm sure we can uh, get a result, yeah. You've been here about 18 months now. Yeah. Um, and you were telling me during the week that you've moved house, you're staying down in the coast now. Yes, that's uh, right. In so I would say you've, you've settled in pretty well now. Yeah, you? definitely. Um, obviously, at first, it was a big change. Um, I was living in Greenock, around the corner. Um, and then, obviously, I eventually moved in with Strappy in uh, Glasgow. That must um, have been fun. That was, that was fun. <laughs> yeah, I've got to admit, I've got to admit that. Is, yeah, it was a fun fun time um, and then obviously moved to Ayrshire recently um, but now I'm, I'm settled in I'm really enjoying it um, but that's it you want to be uh, comfortable and around in your environment and that'll help my football mainly that's the main thing everything's helped my football um, but yeah good uh, the last thing I want to talk to you about uh, today is this week coming 7 to the 14th uh, is CAFE which is the centre for access yeah for football in Europe, the boys will be involved in this. There will be a lot of stuff on social media, folks will look out for that as well. And this is an initiative to get disabled people into football grounds, not just in terms of coming to games, but in boardroom and things like that. I know the boys are quite keen to get involved in this. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. Obviously, football's for everyone. Um, we want everyone to come to the games and stuff like this is exactly what we need. We want to make it open, everyone to feel comfortable, and it's a great opportunity for people like that, yeah. Well, you'll certainly be involved in it this coming week, so we yeah. can look forward to that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Listen, thanks for coming no, in today. No uh, can we look forward to a few more headed goals or yeah. any goals from Luca Cole? Any goals, hopefully any goals. Um, that's what I want to do. I want to score goals, get assists, so hopefully we can, can carry on with that, yeah. 
Thanks again, look and good luck next couple of games. Thank you, cheers. As I said, we will be looking at Cafe throughout the whole of next week, so look out on social media for its initiative. The club's certainly back and all the players are back in as well. Thanks for joining us today. We will go out to telling you who the winner of our January Goal of the Month was. And of course, now's your chance to get involved in February's competition and win a signed jersey. Thanks for looking in on the Green Morton Weekly Update, as sponsored by Ivan Tears, the auctioneers. Is it forward for Oliver? Is he going to get to that one? No, or is he? An orthodox header. Oliver does well though, pokes away from the defender. Now there's a chance. Plays that across and he has a chance for Morton! A oh, wonderful goal from Morton! Superb play, Cammy Blues, I think, coming in at the back post. Wonderful play from Morton. We talked about it earlier, Andy. They've been creating the opportunities now. 66 minutes played. It's Morton 2 and Vanessa Kelly Thistle 2. Yeah, fantastic stuff there for Gary Oliver. Fought hard to keep the ball. We nicked round the defender like that. He's looked up. Look, I'm looking, Jerry. And he played it in the box. And that's what I was talking about before the game. Cammy Blues taking these runs to get in. Empty out in the middle of the park at times and get into the box. Get a finish on. Hi James, hope you're well mate, um, thanks for voting for my goal as goal of the month um, for last month. I'm glad you appreciated the, the 60 yard sprint I had to make. Um, hopefully we can see you back in capital soon and all the best mate, cheers. For the programme, Jerry, about that left peg he has, it's been knocked down brilliantly there. What a smashing finish. You'll not see many better goals like that today, Jerry. Yes, but the picture that comes across the halfway line. That chip ball over to Orsi. He's not going to reach it though. He does well. Calvin Orsi gets it, drops it into the path of McGuffey. McGuffey onto his left foot, tries to play across the header from Cobble. It's into the back of the net! Wonderful breakaway play from Morton. Craig McGuffey from goal scorer to provider. Luca Cobble comes across the defence. Knocks the ball into the bottom of the net and it's now Dun Morton 2, Dundee 1. Yeah, you've come alive after the Dundee's equaliser. Man. What a great pass to play that was, Gary. If Calvin Orsi doing really well to keep the move going, Craig McGuffey having a look on what a ball in like that. Yeah. If you would like to enter our Goal of the Month competition, then it's never been easier. Simply make your choice and then send it to media at gmfc.net with your name, full address and a contact number. You could win yourself a home jersey signed by the winning goal scorer. So, get choosing, get typing and get lucky.